Welcome back. In this video, I'll cover one of the past HC exam questions from the activity and temperature chapter. What I'll do in a second is I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, I'll give you about five seconds to try to try to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and when you're ready, just press play. And I'll go over the actual answer itself. All right. So for the first one, it says draw a label diagram to show how a specific feedback mechanism plays an essential role in homeostasis. And that's worth four marks. So pause the video and then attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the answer step by step. All right, welcome back. So for this kind of question, you need to look at the um, question itself, what it says. It says draw a labeled diagram. And it shows to show a specific feedback mechanism. The central so we, what we have to do is we have to draw this diagram, label it, and it has to be about a specific feedback mechanism. So in this video, you'll see me uh, go for the thermoregulation, which was the specific example. And all I really do is I'll draw that diagram and label it, because that's all it says I have to do. So draw plus label. So this was the actual from the video itself that covered this kind of question. This was the video, this was the diagram I gave. So we had our set point. If you did this kind of diagram, you would also get your marks. So set point, which was your normal temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. You make sure you write your thermoregulation because that's a specific example. Then we had an increase. So a increase in temperature. That was detected by thermoreceptors, detected by thermoreceptors, signal sent to hypothalamus, hypothalamus was the control center. The hypothalamus is the thing that gives the response, so it sends the uh, message to the sweat glands and the blood vessels, and the sweat glands will produce the response, so these were the responses. And they help bring the actual stimulus, which was the increase in temperature. They help it bring it back down to the so the decrease back to the set point because of these responses. And then the responses stop once it's back to normal. And on the flip side, if we have a decrease in temp, so if it's getting colder, that's a stimulus. We have the detection that occurs at our thermoreceptors. So here we have detection occurring at our thermoreceptors. These detect the response, the change, the stimulus, and send the message on to the hypothalamus. This is the control center, so it will decide what to do. And it will send, send the message on to the effector organs, the organs that will do the response. In this case, the skin and the blood vessels. And these two were the responses. So you'd have shivering and blood vessels constricting. And the responses help bring it back up. So they increase the temperature back up to that set point. So that was a specific example of a feedback mechanism, and this was the one that I showed you in the video that covered this dot point. But you can also, just, if you have less time, which you probably have in the exam, you can also draw this kind of diagram. It shows you the same thing. So, and I'll just use one color because that's one color you might be using in your exam. So we have normal body temperature here. Here we might have a increase in temperature, increase in temperature, and that increase in temperature is detected by receptors, thermoreceptors, thermoreceptors. So I wrote increase in temperature detected by thermoreceptors. Now we have our hypothalamus. So it sends the message to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus activates, this, in this case, the cooling mechanism, the cooling mechanism. So hypothalamus activates the cooling mechanism and then we have our responses. So we have two responses, sweating and blood vessels dilating. And these responses help bring it back to our body temperature normal to boy temperature, so I wrote boy temperature restored. So that's if it's too hot. On the other side, we can write the same thing. So we can write decrease 
in, I'm sorry about my bad writing, I just don't have much space, in body temperature detected by thermoreceptors. And this is also one of the reasons why you should make sure you have nice and neat uh, handwriting, because otherwise your markers can't actually read what you're writing, which is probably the case. That's why I'm actually saying it out loud as well. Um, then we have, in this case, a hypothalamus activates the heating mechanism to heat it back up. So I'll just write H for hypothalamus, which is a control center, activates heating mechanism, heating mechanism. Once it does that, the responses occur, and the responses for this were shivering and blood vessels constricting. So blood vessels constrict and shivering. And so this is what the whole thing was worth four marks, four marks for this whole thing. And you get your marks for correctly identifying that you have your stimulus, which is picked up by the receptors. You get marks for the responses. So in the case of it too high, um, sweating and blood vessels dilating. And in the case of it being too low, you have shivering and blood vessels constricting. You also get mechanism uh, points for mentioning the hypothalamus because it's the thing that activates your cooling. And then you have get points for mentioning that it actually returns to normal. So I guess this is each of these would be each of these ticks would be a half point. And overall, you get your four marks out of four. But do not forget to write the, in this case, thermoregulation. You want to make sure you give your whole thing a heading. And this was thermoregulation. And where does this come from? This comes from this dot point. Students will gather, process, and analyze information from secondary sources and use available evidence to develop a model of a feedback mechanism. And this was the model of the feedback mechanism. And we gave thermoregulation as our example. Hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.